Are you on the keto or carnivore diet and you're tired of eating ground beef? Or well, ribeyes and strip loins getting a little bit too expensive? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a super delicious meal in the slow cooker. This recipe is super economical, and because we're picking a high fat cut of meat, this is perfect for the keto or carnivore diet. So this crock pot has become a game changer for us for meal prep. It allows us to cook fattier cuts of meat that are a little bit tougher and they end up coming out perfect and tender. I think it's been replaced in recent years with pressure cookers or the Instant Pot, but there are some things that the Instant Pot just isn't able to do. The slow cooker function isn't that great on the Instant Pot. It just gets to too high a heat. Okay, so let's get started. So the cut of meat we're using today is a three pound blade roast. Picked this up from Costco yesterday. It's actually split up into two one and a half pound pieces. A substitute that you can use, and I know is more common in the States, is the chuck roast. At our Costco, we, they only sell blade roast, which is from a similar part of the cow. So I think both are fine for this recipe. It's basically the same thing. They come from the shoulder of the cow. So they are super tough if not cooked correctly. So what it requires is a really slow cooking process to get super tender. Today, we're gonna to be cooking both pieces. It's about 1.8 kilos or a little over three pounds. So if this recipe will work for a chuck roast anywhere between three to five pounds. So the first thing we're gonna do is just prep some of the aromatics. Now these are completely optional. If you're on the carnivore diet, you can omit these completely. There's one small onion, doesn't have to be perfectly cut. One little trick is to leave the root on the onion and just cut off, cut off the tip on this side, like that. And we'll just cut this into rough slices. This is gonna cook for so long that we don't have to worry about chopping nicely. Leaving the root on the end of the onion makes it a lot easier to chop. Yeah, it just allows you to grab the root there. And we have a few mushrooms here. Just cut these into some slices. Alice really likes her mushrooms, so I put these in the dish. They add some umami to the beef as well. You wanna leave things in bigger chunks because the slow cooker basically melts stuff down to nothing. And the last thing we have is a bulb of garlic. Whoops. <laughs> We're not gonna bother chopping the garlic today. Add as much of these aromatics to your taste. So I put these in a bowl with the onions and now that the, all the aromatics are ready, we'll start on prepping the beef. Typically I eat between one and a half or two and a half pounds of meat per day, depending on our level of activity or how long we fasted. We love this recipe because it's super easy and hands off. As you can see, it's super marbled. It's full of connective tissue and collagen and super healthy for you on a carnivore keto diet. They already come pre-tied, which makes the slow cooking process very easy. We're, all we're gonna do here is season the meat a little bit with some salt and we'll throw it in the slow cooker. To make this meat really tender, you have to cook it for a long time. We've tried it in the pressure cooker before, but it just never comes out tender enough and it ends up being a little bit dry. And we've noticed in the slow cooker, it comes out very tender and moist. So that's why we love cooking it this way. So we'll start seasoning here. The first thing we're gonna do is just add salt. We wanna salt generously because these are such big pieces of meat. You can see all that nice fat on the edge there. An optional step if you wanna do it is to sear these on a stove top ahead of time, but we find that it isn't always necessary and you don't notice that big a difference. It's eating fatty meats like this, which has allowed me and Alice to lose over 60 pounds on a keto and carnivore diet, which can be counterintuitive to some people. We found that this lifestyle works for us, so we're sticking with it. So the next thing I'm gonna add is just a little bit of black pepper. We don't like to use too much pepper, so we'll just go sparingly with it. You can always substitute the black pepper with white pepper as it is a little bit lower in oxalates. And the last thing we're gonna add is just a little bit of thyme. Make sure to season all sides well. And then just take your meat and soak up all the extra seasoning that's left on the board. It may look like a lot of seasoning, but because there is a lot of aromatics and a lot of natural juices and broth that's created in the cooking process, a lot of it just kind of comes off. Okay, we're ready for the slow cooker. So I have a six quart slow cooker here. This is more than big enough to cook three to five pounds of chuck roast or blade roast. And the only physical cooking that we have to do is just put everything in the pot. So I'll take our meat. Throw one there. What we love about the slow cooker is the ability to just throw everything in the pot before we go to work. And by the time we get home, everything's ready. Then we take our aromatics. So we have our garlic and onions here. I'll just kind of pour that all over. We have our mushrooms. 
We've tried methods of adding liquid and not adding liquid to the slow cooker. We find that we don't really need to add any liquid because the beef releases a lot of its natural juices and fat. For about three pounds of meat, we're gonna cook it for about eight to nine hours on low. Put the lid on, turn it on and set it and forget it. We'll just press manual and then we'll increase the time to nine hours. The temperature is low and then just press stop. That's it. As you can see that a bunch of liquid came out from the beef as well as some of the vegetables that are inside. I'm gonna take these out first just to let them cool down a bit. Be very careful because they may fall apart. So I'm just gonna let them cool for about 10 minutes so they're a little bit easier to slice. I'm gonna take out some of these vegetables in here so I can pour out some of the broth and the accumulated fat that's in the pot. Just wanna drain it out, use a slotted spoon. So what I'm gonna do is just take my fat separator here and pour the broth through the fat separator. What we actually like to do is to keep the fat, just let it cool, and then when we plan to reheat it, basically put some of the fat on top of the beef. Normally fat separators are for getting rid of the fat, but we actually like to keep as much as possible. Okay, so these are cool for about 10, 15 minutes, and we'll slice them up. So I'll just cut it into maybe half inch slices. Oh, it's so tender. Leaving the string on helps it stay together as you cut it. Usually this stuff just falls right apart. This is a great dish to serve to big parties or big groups because you can make so much for very little. This is a great recipe for meal prepping. What we like to do is make a bunch on Sundays and then have it ready for the week. I'm just gonna take some of the fat, reserved fat and juice and just pour it over. If you wanna make it a thicker gravy, you can take this liquid and kind of simmer it down to reduce it. So I sliced up a couple slices for dinner, but I'm just gonna eat right off the board because I can't wait any longer. Just take a little piece here, take some of the sauce or liquid that came out of the broth, pour that right on. Okay, let's give this a try. Mm. Oh yeah, it's like melt in your mouth tender. So good. Mm. Super beefy flavor. Probably even just shred this if you wanted to, but we like to eat it in slices. You can really taste the garlic and onion that it was cooked with. But yeah, it's so good. If you liked our video today, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're first to know when we upload any new recipes or videos. Comment below on your favorite slow cooker recipes on the keto or carnivore diet. Until next time.